In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a master detail form inside of your application. So I am in my Oracle Application Express student workspace, and uh, I am in an application that I created that is utilizing the uh, tables we created for our ship application. And what I'm going to do is create a new page. And then I am going to select uh, the form option. And then I'm going to select the master detail form option. And for this particular master detail, I'm going to create a master detail based on the cruise table as our master. And then I am going to use our reservation table as our detail. And you can see because these tables have a relationship, uh, a foreign key relationship in the database that the form builder automatically knows that uh, this is available to use. So now that I've uh, selected the fields uh, from both of these tables, it's going to ask me some questions about how I want to handle the primary keys. So for my master table, I know that our cruise table uses the cruise ID primary key column, and I'm fine with the uh, form uh, utilizing that. Now you may recall that the reservation table has a primary key composed of the um, passenger ID and the cruise ID, but we're just going to go ahead and let this detail section be managed by the row ID for this particular detail form. So now it's uh, it's going to be asking about, you know, how the primary key is managed for the cruise um, table. You may recall that there is an existing trigger that handles that utilizing a sequence that uh, we put together when we created this table. So we're going to go ahead and just take this default existing trigger. And now you can see that uh, the last thing it's going to ask us about is really whether or not uh, we want some sort of um, sort order applied to the page when, uh, when we um, enter our master page. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and just select the, the ship name and then uh, the cruise ID as how we will sort this. And now when I click Next, uh, I'm just going to get a couple of more uh, questions about how I want this form to be laid out. I'm going to take the detail and say, or take the default setting here and say that we will edit detail as a, as a tabular form on the same page. And now um, I'm also going to accept all of the defaults here for the, the page attributes. And uh, pretty quickly here. Uh, we will get to uh, our tab options, and what I'm going to want to do here is actually use an existing tab set, which uh, I already have set up, and um, you can see here that uh, some other pages we've created already have tabs there. I'm just going to go ahead and call this uh, Cruise Master Detail, and click Next again. And now you can see it's uh, summarized all of my selections and is confirming that I'm ready to create this form. And I'm going to say, yes, please go ahead and create the form. And now you can see that, uh, that the master detail form has actually been created. So um, before we edit the page, I want to just go back to our application and, and take a look at what's been created here. So what you'll see is that it's actually created two pages. It is created this uh, cruise tab uh, page, and it's also created this master detail form. So if we were to edit our cruise tab, we could go in and see the fields um, that have been created as uh, a result of the selections we made in the interface there. And if we wanted to edit anything having to do with our master form, 
this is where we would come to make those edits. Now, if we wanted to actually do some edits to our detail form, we would need to actually go to this uh, master detail that's been created here. And now you can see if, uh, if we come in here, uh, we can see the um, reservation uh, table uh, detail form that's been created here. And if we were to click on the report link here, now we see all of the, the details related to our detail form. You can see that there's a cruise tab uh, option here from this detail page, but it won't actually give you the ability to edit the details on the master portion of our page. So if we go ahead and, uh, and run our page from here, of course we'll need to log in. So you see here we've come to our, our master detail page and we are actually on the, on the detail portion of it. If I click cancel here, we can see um, I've got a, a number of details already entered for the, both the master and the detail tables associated with this form. So if I click on edit for any one of these cruise uh, table lines, you'll see that we're brought into an interface which shows us the line for the cruise and then all of the reservations uh, that are associated with it as well. And we could uh, use this interface to either add new rows to the master uh, cruise table or we can add uh, rows as well to the detail reservation table. So that is the basics for how to create a master detail form and then how to edit any of these attributes is exactly the same as we saw in uh, our video showing us the basics of uh, how to edit our pages.